FaceTime. Hello, my dear Patreon family. I welcome you to episode number six of my FaceTime podcast series. Now, this probably will be uh, the last episode for season three of the podcast. I'll uh, plan on changing things maybe a little up on season four, but more to that later. And I have a special guest on this one, Manjano from the UK, great producer. And uh, check this out. We had a cool chat about things, and I hope you enjoy it. Hello, James. There we go. We've got it working. There he is. How are you doing? Thank you. Very well. And you? Yeah, yeah I'm not bad at all. I'm not yeah? bad. Yeah? Yeah, I've just been working most of the day, so. Well, I guess shit has to be done. Exactly. <laughs> so, uh, well, welcome to FaceTime. James, uh, it's, uh, it's a real pleasure to have you uh, on the show, and um, yeah, thanks for making up some time and for giving mm. listeners a chance to get some insight of how you, how your brain ticks, <laughs> let's put it that way, or your life as a producer. And uh, well, now this podcast is about music production, uh, music and music production, and to be even more precise, about the things I like in music production <laughs> or the things I feel like people should know about. Yeah. And, uh, well, I personally find your stuff fresh, vibing and, and, and uh, yeah, cool. And oh, I, I like all of those adjectives I can relate to. How would you describe your own sound, though? Um, for me, I've always, because like, I've kind of thought of this before, it's like what kind of emotions and stuff that I usually get. Um, and it's kind of changed over the course of like a year and a half, two years as well, going from like, darker stuff to, to now mm -hmm. I'd say a bit brighter and even like yeah. the mood is a bit more it's a bit of a lighter mood that I have now in the stuff mainly in the stuff coming out this year compared to next year well last year yeah um, yeah yeah things have like changed completely I don't know if it's like coming out of like all COVID mode and finally like relaxing and going from like <laughs> depression to like yes I'm happy and it's like okay I think it's a mix of both but yeah I, th I think it's gone like a bit brighter a bit Less moody and depressing. It's, it's good. That's cool. I mean, uh, it's it's vital to kind of evolve, you know, yeah, to exactly. do things different. Um, I always find it interesting when when there's a shift in things. It keeps you creative as well. It's, it's like if I imagine if I do all the stuff the same way all the time, I'd be yeah. bored, you know. So yeah, exactly. I totally understand. I understand this change. So. You'd say more bright as before. That's the bottom line. Yeah, <laughs> a little much. more bright and light as before. Yeah. Okay, cool. Um, well, every producer has a couple of favorite producers, like you grew up with, like mm -hmm. your influences and stuff. What What are Janos like? Guys, you were like, oh, this is the shit. Mm. Any type of music, you know? Like I'm not talking about just drum and bass here. Yeah, like anything. Yeah, yeah. So, what is you? Where you come from? Um. When I was like really, really young, so like I, I liked like I remember one of my favorite bands ever was like Linkin Park. They were like as a kid growing up, I was like, yes, I fucking like love everything they do. And then obviously I found Skrillex later on. 